Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Smell Podcast. I'm your host, Katie Boitain. Today, let's chat about some smell news. The first order of business has to do with the Identifying Treatments for Taste and Smell Disorders, which is a conference geared towards those suffering from a smell and taste disorder. Remember that the conference is going to be held in November, the 14th and the 15th in Philadelphia. So the news for this week is that there's going to be a special dinner on Thursday evening, November 15th, after the conference called Double Tasty Dinner and a Show. The Monell News release states, Dinner will be from 6 to 9 p.m. and will include a four-course small plates dinner. There will also be commentary on taste, smell, health, and safety from Monell's world-renowned scientists. Dinner selections are being prepared by Chef Daniel Stern, who is recognized for his unexpected spin on modern American cuisine. Following dinner, enjoy an interactive presentation by Nicola Twilly and Cynthia Graber, hosts of Gastropod, an award-winning podcast that looks at food through the lenses of science and history. Then, mingle during a dessert reception with other guests and our Gastropod hosts. Single tickets are $125 each, and they can be purchased online. It's a little bit spendy, so I'm not sure if I'll actually make it myself, but I wanted to share the news in case any of you are interested in attending the dinner. I'll make sure to include the link in the episode description so you can sign up for the dinner if you are interested. Also, don't forget that if you want to go to the conference, it's free, but you do need to register ahead of time. I'll make sure that I include that link in the episode description as well. The next piece comes from the Monell Center blog called Monell Sensations and discusses the work of scientist Pamela Dalton. I'll read a snippet so you can all get an idea what it's about. By educating physicians about unique properties of the olfactory system, Monell scientist Pamela Dalton seeks to increase understanding of stigmas associated with incontinence. Vanilla, honeysuckle, a baby's head, diesel. When asked to name her favorite smell, Pamela Dalton responds without hesitation. Diesel, she says, a look of pure pleasure on her face. For Dalton, the scent of diesel, certainly off-putting to most of us, takes her back to her happy childhood memories of outings on her family's boat off the coast of southern New Jersey. Cognitive psychologist Pamela Dalton, Ph.D., studies responses to odors, both pleasant and unpleasant. A major component of Dalton's long-standing research program has focused on understanding how our beliefs and emotions modify how we process and respond to odors. Smell is one of our most powerful senses, she says. Research has shown that pleasant odors can positively impact mood and behavior, while malodors drive negative emotional and physical outcomes. The blog story continues on, but I'll go ahead and stop there. If you're interested in this topic, how smells can impact our mood and behavior, and would like to read the rest of this story, please make sure to visit the Monel Sensations blog online. I'll include the link to her story in the show notes so you can find the entire piece. The final news today also comes from the Monell Center. The title of this piece is A New Defender for Your Sense of Smell, and it's an article that was published by the Monell Center on September 18th, 2018. I'll read the start of the story for you and include the link in the show notes so you can finish reading it if you're interested in following up. Okay, here's the article. New research from the Monell Center increases understanding of a mysterious sensory cell located in the olfactory epithelium the patch of nasal tissue that contains odor-detecting olfactory receptor cells. The findings suggest that the so-called microvillus cells, or MVCs, may protect the vulnerable olfactory epithelium by detecting and initiating defenses against viruses, bacteria, and other potentially harmful invaders. These pathogens can lead to painful sinus infections or even cause anosmia, loss of the sense of smell, by destroying cells of the olfactory epithelium. The MVCs may represent potential therapeutic targets to aid in maintaining a healthy olfactory system, or even to promote regeneration of a damaged olfactory epithelium, said study senior author Marco Tizano, PhD, a cell biologist at Monell. That's all of the story I'm going to read for now. So basically, if I can break this down for myself and make sure that I understand it, 
There are cells called microvillous cells, or MVCs, which might help protect the epithelium in the nose by defending it against viruses and other bad things like that. So from what I understand, MVCs are like little guardians for our noses. And if scientists can figure out how to help the MVCs protect our olfactory systems, maybe things like anosmia would be less likely to happen from getting a virus, which was the cause of my own anosmia. So I'm definitely interested in this kind of research. This is pretty exciting news. It's all very scientific sounding, but the gist is that MVCs are a good thing. There's more to this article, which I didn't finish reading to you, but you can find it by clicking on the link in the episode description. Thank you all for listening. I hope you will send your personal anosmia stories to me at thesmellpodcast at gmail.com or via Twitter at The Smell Podcast. If you also find an interesting news article related to taste or smell, I like receiving those as well, so please feel free to send them my way. The more the merrier. All right, until next time, have a great day.